everyone welcome back to another video today is Tuesday the 9th of August it was my first day at school I just got back 12 ish minutes ago or so I'm really tired um I would say I slept okay last night but my eyes hurt a lot my head hurts a lot I want to take some ibuprofen after this turn on my fan because it's hot and drink this beautiful soda which was super cold and now it's kind of not as cold because it's been sitting out for a little bit. But, um, so first day talk. Let's see here. What to talk about. Uh, since school is now starting, I will be posting every day. I also learned that Sign Language Club does start this Friday. So you won't even have to miss that video. I mean, this Thursday, sorry. So you won't even have to miss that. So that's great. Um, let's start out with... Let's start with that the first day. I mean, from the beginning. So I went out to my bus stop. I should have gone out a little earlier, even though I guess today didn't matter. Because um, my bus driver, she explained when we got on the bus that the bus, her bus wasn't starting. It was having problems. And I'm like, respectable. I got you, fam. Won't hate on you this time. She was really late. She, bus supposed to come at 6.41. She came at like 6.50, which is late to me. Like... I didn't get that much time to see my friends in the morning, but, I mean, it wasn't her fault. I'll let it slide this time, but hopefully she'll be coming on time from now on. Um, this morning I went out at um, 6.35. I think what I'm going to do, though, is go at like more like 6.32, 6.33, because it doesn't take me that long to walk up to the bus stop, but I like to be at least five minutes early to my bus stop in case something happens, she comes early or something. I don't want to miss it. And so, I want to be five minutes full per ready every day. And so, um, yeah. But that's how today started out. I did get to the library. I did get to see my friends. Yay. I'm really glad. Um, I got to hug all my babies. You know, love them, love them. Um, homeroom. Uh, I got one of my, I guess she's an acquaintance. Uh, she's in my homeroom now. And... She is obsessed with Supernatural just as much as I am. Finally found somebody. I'm super happy about that. Um, homeroom was good. Nothing really happened, obviously. First hour, I have um, government. And it was alright. I don't have any friends in that class, but it's fine. Whatever. Um, first hour of the day, I don't feel like talking anyway. Um, it went pretty swimmingly. Um, nothing big or important happened. Second hour, uh, I have English. Um, my friend Christina, or my acquaintance Christina, is in that class, so that's pretty good. Um, for some reason, my login to the computers wasn't working, even though I used what I used to log in every single day for first semester last year. I don't know why it wasn't working. I don't know what was happening. So hopefully she gets that checked out. Um, she said that she might have to, she's going to have to reset it, so that's going to be annoying. Whatever. And then third hour, I have math, and I have my friend Clayton and my friend Kyle both in there, so that's really great. They sit kind of a ways away from me, but that's perfectly fine. I also have the same math teacher that I had for first semester last year. I also have Zach in that class, but you know what, we're going to ignore that fact. Um, and then I have lunch. So I have a first lunch, yay! Um, my lunch is really freaking crowded though, so that's not amazing. I did, we were able to get a good table though, so hopefully we can keep that. I have a bunch, I have so many friends in my lunch. So freaking many, and I'm really happy about that. My lunch does change next semester though, so gotta remember that. But I'm super happy, I have a bunch of people in that lunch. And then my fourth hour is just right down from the lunch. I, is journalism and today in journalism we did this like little thing it's to get to know people in your class and uh, it's like where you write three little sentences one that everybody is one that most people is and then some that's just you now she didn't exactly explain it very well at least not for my tired just got back from summer rotating brain where it was supposed to be also compared to you 
So like something for everybody. I go to FHN, you know. Then something for someone. In my, I would have said like, I have glasses or something. But instead, I wasn't like realizing that it's something like in that term where it has to also be you and all of them. I wrote, I'm a boy. So I have to remember tomorrow. Luckily, my journalism teacher is also my homeroom teacher. So hopefully I can do that in homeroom. Um, if not, I'm in, I'm like a couple feet away before class starts. Maybe I can change it. I asked her at the end of this, at, at the end of today of class, but she said, um, just to do it tomorrow because the bell was about to ring and I was like, okay, hopefully I remember. Otherwise, whenever she reads it out, she reads it out like, I go to FHN, everybody stands up, and then it's like, I'm a girl, all the boys would have to sit down. And then they say, what I wrote was, I'm obsessed with a fictional angel. Then it would only be me standing. But because I messed up, hopefully I can fix that tomorrow. Otherwise I'd have to sit down and then stand back up and, jeez, pro i probably get laughed at. Anyway, um, and then fifth hour, I have, what's it called? Chemistry, Clayton is also in my chemistry, so that's pretty cool. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, and then he's also in my fashion construction, which is my sixth hour. That class seems really fun. I'm really excited for that class. And then seventh hour, I have sculpture, which I don't have any friends in, but there was this one girl that I was like, you look like you could be my friend, you know? We could, we could be friends, yes? And she sat right next to me, so it's a sign. But, um, so that was all my hours. And I was able to get outside into the parking lot with some time to see my friends, but my friends are also really far away from the door, so it also takes them a while. So we don't get that much time, because I have to get to my bus. Some of my friends are lucky, and they can just walk home. I have to get on a bus, so, you know. Um, what are, what are some other things? So obviously, I'm, I look gross right now because my hair is like all frizzy and unbrushed and like everywhere. My eye makeup, I don't think you, <laughs> hey, it's all smudgy and gross looking. I'm really sweaty and tired. Um, I'm going to be doing a video, though tomorrow, um, will be my back to school lookbook video which I don't actually have pre-recorded. I was supposed to pre-record it and I didn't because I didn't want to. So tomorrow, whenever I come home from school, I will pre-record that really fast. So sorry if tomorrow's video is a little later, just so you know. And then, um, nothing else really happened today. Nothing big and exciting. I didn't eat my lunch granola bar because, um, I was feeling really, really nauseous. And not like because I was sick, it happens, um, I was in so many crowds before lunch, I couldn't do it, and there's so much stress of finding a table, and being able to sit down, and, you know, just the whole stress of the day, I was not hungry. I'm hungry now, though, so I'm gonna eat my granola bar, and I have a bunch of home, I have a bunch of papers I have to sign and bring back tomorrow. I also got a textbook, already, um, so I have my math textbook, and I also learned that we won't be having chemistry textbooks. We'll have them, but we won't need them. So, like, I just have to bring it home, you know? And then, um, I also got math homework, like, actual homework. But I finished that in class, so I didn't have to worry about it. It's, like, the simple stuff when you get back from school, from back from summer, that really messes with me. Like, it was, like, so easy. Like, it was, like, negative five times, um, nine. And I was like, does that make it a negative or a positive? You know, because... Like, summer kills your brain, man. And I was just not thinking straight. And I was like, I have no idea if it's positive or negative. But I think I figured it out, so yay. Also, my friend Clayton, he um, has been using the bag of the Galaxy bag that I bought. The brand of the Galaxy bag. I think I said that wrong the first time. Let's pretend that didn't happen. Um, of the Galaxy bag. He actually has the same exact Galaxy bag. So if I do end up using it, twinning. But he said that it holds really well. I don't think he had as much stuff as I do, though. So, what I want to do is it's like, I bought it already. I really freaking want to use it. I'm going to use it. Like, hate me, but I'm going to use it. Um, and my goal to not have to use my math textbook doesn't work. Because um, I heard my teacher say in class that we actually use them a lot for a semester. And I'm like, great. But I'm going to use the Galaxy book bag. If it doesn't work out, whatever. I'll just 
use it for a different bag. Like I gave, I'm giving away so many of my old bags, like book bags and purse book bags and purses, that I'm very limited to any bag at all right now. So hey, I can use it whenever I go to sleepovers and on trips and stuff. So I'm gonna keep it. Sorry mom, if you wanted to turn it back in, I'm keeping it. It's super cute and I love it and I'm gonna use it. So who cares? Um, so he says that it holds up really strong. I believe him, so I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna use it. Phone off. But yeah, I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. I really need to take some ibuprofen. Um, also, our school has so many changes over this summer break. Like for one, um, the uh, the the audience, the um, what's it called office, just the main office, like the attendance office, is moved into this room I didn't even know existed to be honest like I walked past it and I was like when was that there like did they put in a whole new room like what's happening I think though what happened was that they um took away part of the guidance office and put it there um and I guess like cut a hole in the wall for their like little window thing but now where the main office was it's now the attend it's um the administrator's office I don't know what that means um but I don't know a lot has changed there and then also we have a whole new tardy system I don't really have to worry about it cuz I'm not tardy sorry about it I'm too good for that but I'm just kidding but um instead of in my school I don't know if it's two or four literally I've had teachers say both today so I don't even know what's the truth anymore but I'm gonna go with four because I like it better but after normally our old system was if you had four tardies in one class then the teacher gave you the detention like if I was late to math four times my math teacher would give me the detention whereas now it's if I'm late at all four times like late to anywhere four times the office gives me detention so they're cracking down on freaking attendance this year like they've said that they've been cracking down the past years when they really haven't been but now they are because it's the office that does it and like that's their job you know like they don't have that many other jobs so it's all right lucky me i move fast for my tiny little legs also i'm small so i can squeeze between things and also one more thing i know i was supposed to end this like two minutes ago one more thing i was walking out to leave and it was like really crowded it's like the most crowded exit in the whole school i'm le walking out to leave and somebody's hand just goes boop and i'm like who just touched me and i, I was like what who just who, who thinks that they could touch me and i like look up because my friends are always taller than i am and i go oh hey it's just kyle you know whatever He's not even like looking at me like he was he just goes like straight face not not even a smile just a straight face cross and i'm like oh i thought some random guy was touching me and he goes nope just just me and i'm like still pretty random but anyway and it was funny because he goes so how was your summer and i goes terrible because i mean i had a huge checklist of things i wanted to do this summer and i did hardly any of them at all but like i it made it even more awkward because like the pathway is straight like ahead or whatever and that's where like most people go but I like go up to the side into the grass where my friends meet and so like I went there and he goes and he's going straight and I was like terrible and he goes okay see you later and then keeps going and I turn off and I was like how awkward but he's in my math class so hopefully we can become friends again well, there was a huge drama situation last year <sighs> Hopefully we can be friends again. I'm really hoping we can. I don't have any class with Aiden, which honestly makes me a little happy because I don't like Aiden that much. I just don't. I don't know. He's not who he used to be. He used to be a really fun guy, and now he's just monotone, and he doesn't talk, and it's so annoying. And he take things like he doesn't even take things seriously at all. But he doesn't have any emotion in what he's saying, so I never know if he's joking. But anyway, that's enough about today. I had a great day, I guess. I'm really tired. I'm really thirsty and my head hurts. But I'm gonna see you guys in tomorrow's video and in the next videos to come. Peace out, bye bye, freaking bunny bunny. See you guys in the next one. Hit subscribe if you got May Bunny today and hit that like button if you did enjoy. Check out my social media links down below and leave a comment about your first day at school. I know some of you started school today. Also, tell me when you do start school or if you're even in school at all. See you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Bye.